The distinction between children and adults, while probably useful for some purposes, is at bottom a specious one, I feel. There are only individual egos, crazy for love. Men shrink less from offending one who inspires love than one who inspires fear. Hence it comes about that all armed prophets have been victorious, and all unarmed prophets have been destroyed. Nature that framed us of four elements, warring within our breasts for regiment, doth teach us all to have aspiring minds. A son can bear with equanimity the loss of his father, but the loss of his inheritance may drive him to despair. The new ruler must determine all the injuries that he will need to inflict. He must inflict them once and for all. The one who adapts his policy to the times prospers, and likewise that the one whose policy clashes with the demands of the times does not. Princes and governments are far more dangerous than other elements within society. Men are so simple and so much inclined to obey immediate needs that a deceiver will never lack victims for his deceptions. It is much more secure to be feared than to be loved. The main foundations of every state, new states as well as ancient or composite ones, are good laws and good arms you cannot have good laws without good arms, and where there are good arms, good laws inevitably follow. Men are so simple and yield so readily to the desires of the moment that he who will trick will always find another who will suffer to be tricked. One change always leaves the way open for the establishment of others. There is no surer sign of decay in a country than to see the rights of religion held in contempt. Men rise from one ambition to another, first, they seek to secure themselves against attack, and then they attack others. When you disarm the people, you commence to offend them and show that you distrust them either through cowardice or lack of confidence, and both of these opinions generate hatred. Where the willingness is great, the difficulties cannot be great. The promise given was a necessity of the past, the word broken is a necessity of the present. It is better to be feared than loved, if you cannot be both. If an injury has to be done to a man it should be so severe that his vengeance need not be feared. There is no avoiding war, it can only be postponed to the advantage of others. It is not titles that honor men, but men that honor titles. Politics have no relation to morals. It is double pleasure to deceive the deceiver. Men ought either to be indulged or utterly destroyed, for if you merely offend them they take vengeance, but if you injure them greatly they are unable to retaliate, so that the injury done to a man ought to be such that vengeance cannot be feared. The wise man does at once what the fool does finally. Men should be either treated generously or destroyed, because they take revenge for slight injuries, for heavy ones they cannot. The first method for estimating the intelligence of a ruler is to look at the men he has around him. He who wishes to be obeyed must know how to command. There is nothing more difficult to take in hand, more perilous to conduct, or more uncertain in its success, than to take the lead in the introduction of a new order of things. Don't forget subscribe button and hit the bell with all notifications.